Hello, and Ooh. there's a bit of clothing there. The uh, the upper whatever. Hello, and welcome to day three inside of the cupboard. And uh, well, yesterday evening I had a, a great time just playing agar.io it's a very good game and um, yep that's what I was up to and uh, yeah so I decided to go for a walk so I stood up because there's just about enough room for me to, uh, to stand up right at the top there but um, yep that's, that's all I've been doing really recently and uh, yeah so uh, I, I really am enjoying life inside of this cupboard because, well, it's more comfortable than sleeping in a normal bed, and uh, yeah, um, it's fantastic really. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for all your support in this uh, cupboard marathon, if you were to call it that. I wouldn't call it a marathon, I just call it a relaxing holiday. It's a nice cupboard, and um, yeah, now I have been uh, receiving a lot of comments, so, well, I don't know really about that, because, uh, well, I'm not really responding to any comments yet, but, um, as you may know, these videos have been really short, so this one's going to be a bit longer, just for you to kind of, you know, maybe I could do a day in the life of being inside a cupboard, because, well, it's, it's very different to, um, you know, living it outside of this cupboard which is a it's, it's a really different experience the lighting well there's no lights inside the cupboard first of all so well that's something to uh, to fascinate you uh, cupboard enthusiasts and you uh, fanatics cupboard fanatics out there um, I'm not quite sure what model this is but it's it's blue on the outside I think it's blue that's the color it was when I first came in here but could all change when I come outside. Um, but yeah, so, well, um, some of you viewers may have realized that I'm wearing the same shirt, and um, that's an unfortunate coincidence because obviously there's loads of things in here in this cupboard, but unfortunately, I have decided to keep wearing the same shirt because it actually holds a symbol in it and like a little message and it's um, it's to do with uh, this cupboard association I'm, I'm funding someone who uh, wants a new cupboard delivered and unfortunately they can't really afford the price so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to support this by uh, wearing this this shirt which has this um, this kind of writing displayed on the uh, on the front and the back of it but unfortunately you can't really see what it says and that's because, well, this laptop takes up much most of the room and if I were to move around it would cause quite a racket and it might actually uh, damage the laptop in, uh, in many ways um, that are unthinkable. So, um, unfortunately I can't really do that and I do apologise if some kind of bits of clothing material go down because I am inside of a cupboard if you didn't know already. Um, so yeah, how long is this video going? Okay, four minutes so far, well, just about coming up to four minutes now, and, uh, well, let's do a talk show then, by myself. So, um, hello everyone, and welcome to, um, the cupboard talk show, and, uh, yep, so I'm inside this cupboard, and I have to say, the, uh, the acoustics are fantastic, because, well, it's a cupboard, and... <laughs> Well, you know, pretend this my hand here is the sound. It just kind of bounces off here and there, and it keeps coming back to you. So it keeps coming back to the recording software that I have here, and um, it also has a square roof because uh, it's a rectangular or a cuboid to be more mathematical. And um, yes, yeah, so it's not like the Royal Albert Hall, which is has a circular dome, which is uh, a bit silly really because, well. Ask Albert Einstein. I think he's still alive. But, um... Yep, yeah, so day three. Uh, I'll end it here. I, I mean, five minutes. 
yeah that that's not bad for a cupboard video but um yeah I'll end it here so thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this uh well it's uh double the amount of time I've been doing for the other cupboard video so thanks for watching and goodbye